Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magnus, and I welcome you guys back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Staff of uh, the Ages, or was it Ages? It's, I don't know, it's the Winds of Change is the name of the chapter. We are continuing the story of the four sassy brothers on their adventure to hold a fort. But these guys are new. My queen, a messenger has arrived with news from Owen and Sawyer. Oh, that must be the queen they... Ah, right. Owen and Sawyer? It must be about Fort Sar Sersel. What did the message say, Seneza? Sen Seneca? Seneza? I don't Names. They say that an Arindis commander arrived and claimed the fort was within their borders and attacked when they refused to relinquish the fort. They aided the fort commander and successfully fought them off, with the fort taking some damage. I'm relieved that they are in good health and that the attack managed to be routed. The fort has been within our borders long before I was even alive. Send an envoy with some supplies to aid the commander and his soldiers. Just supplies? No soldiers? My queen, I urge you to send more troops to Cersel. It will be lost without more. Manpower to defend it should Arind and Arind should <laughs> attack again. I understand your con concern, Seneza. However, as one of my advisors, you must trust me when I say no more needs to be done. I appreciate your suggestions, but I do not wish to incite conflict with the Rindon. We have enough problems to deal with that as it is. While well, this bitch is either evil or incredibly stupid. Summon a messenger to inform my my general of my intentions. As And as one of your advisors, I urge you to take my advice. Will you really only send them supplies? Is that truly all the concern you can muster for your own countrymen? This situation is Arindan. With Arindan is a delicate one. I don't expect you to understand the balancing act that is politics. Balance? What balance? How in the world is letting Arindan lay claim to our lands and do whatever they please to be <laughs> pleased to it balanced? The people of Fortuita will not stand idly by and watch our homeland be taken a bit by bit by Arindis filth. There are many factors to consider when dealing with international affairs. Many more than you realize. This job is as stressful as it comes. Oh, you're making excuses now, you little bitch. I can understand this guy. I would be pissed too. Like, you make no sense. Stop stop with the political bullshit. Is it now? Well, if it's so stressful for you, then it's high time you retire. Oh, I like this guy. Are you alright, mother? I'm fine, Belle. Sometimes I forget how quick-tempered Senesa can be. Yeah, I would be too if I had to deal with your fucking moronic stupidity. That guy was completely 100% right, and you are wrong. And if this chick is not evil... Then she is stupid. That arrogant, loudmouthed scoundrel. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind the next time I see him. You can be sure of that. Sometimes I forget how quick-tempered you can be, too. What was it about this time? He disapproves of my actions towards Arindan, an opinion that must stem from his long tenure as queen. Huh? At the very least, you have my support. I know that despite how things may appear, every action you take is in Fortuitous' best interest. WRONG! And how do things appear? Well... To an outsider observer, it may appear that you are disinterested in the conflict, and that you don't care about the suffering of the people. I am doing everything I can to protect my people. Well, apparently not the ones in the fort. Yes, of course, but a public sign of solidarity might quell their tempers. And any sort of action like that could provoke a larger response from Arendon. I don't even know if I'm prepared enough for a conflict of the current magnitude, let alone a bigger one. I simply cannot risk an escalation of hostilities. Your current actions might not agitate Arindan, but they do seem to be agitating Fortuita. You're an intelligent woman, Mother. I know you can think of some sort of compromise. Thank you for your input, Belle. Now, I'd appreciate it if you gave me some time with my thoughts. As you wish, Mother. This is all I can do. I hope my people can forgive me. You're a stupid idiot, and you shouldn't be a leader. If a fort is under attack, you send reinforcements to the fort. That is not a provoking act. You know what's a provoking act? That's attacking the fucking fort. I completely uh, agree with the silver hair dude. You are stupid and you should retire because that you are an idiot commander. If you think that not like if you think that holding your own forge by supplying them soldiers is like an act of aggression, then you should have nothing to do with war counseling of any sorts. It speaks volumes in terms of logic that if a fort is under attack, you reinforce it with soldiers. I mean, either that or you relinquish the fort and you send your soldiers home, because the people inside that fort are going to die next time. Never mind, I think. I feel like the writers already know this, because they already kind of presented my point of view. But yeah, I hope they don't try to, to portray this woman as smart, because she's not. Ah, Sebastian. Just the man I wanted to see. What a pleasant surprise, Lord, Lord Seneca. Seneca? I think it's Seneca. To what do I owe the pleasure of this meeting? I've come into knowledge of some disturbing news, and I thought you might like to know. Perhaps we should have head somewhere a little more private before continuing? You are just as sharp as ever, Sebastian. Come, let's walk. The fresh air will do us good. After you, my lord. Oh, cool. He has a custom sprite. 
This spot should be plenty private now, you were saying? Arendon is getting bolder and bolder with their moves. They attacked Fort Cersal earlier this week, but Calvestra's lapdog managed to keep them at bay, sustaining only minor damages to the keep. Is that all? I hardly see why we have to step out for that. Let me finish. Calvestra, in her infinite wisdom, only sends out supplies to the forge. No soldiers, just supplies. That's hardly surprising. She always managed to pick the worst course of action. <laughs> yeah! I'm so glad they're pointing out her stupidity. When it comes to dealing with Arendon, Precisely. She must be removed from power as soon as possible. And we're going to be the ones to do it. Now you're speaking my language. What do you need me to do? Head to the village and rile up the citizens. They're plenty upset already, so your silver tongue should make quick work of them. I'll start working on getting the nobility on our side. If we can get both groups on board, our success is guaranteed. What a deliciously devious plan. I'm honored to be part of it. When I'm done with those villagers, their thirst for rebellion will be unquenchable. Please don't make these guys evil, because they are logical. Rebellion? That's a foreboding sign. I need to tell Sophia about this. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have had the conversation out in the middle of nowhere. Fort Sarsal was attacked by R&D's dogs, and all the Queen does is send a token amount of supplies! Once more, she ignores the attacks on our lands. She doesn't even seem to care about her own people. How can she expect us to stay quiet in the face of this outrage? She lives comfortably in her palace, while we live in constant fear of attack. Why has the Queen turned her back on us during a time of war? Citizens of Fortuita, we must stand together. Let's show the Queen here that the consequences that there are consequences for our lack of action. Gather yourselves, and we shall take what is ours from the hands of our apathetic rulers. Who is with me? We are! We are! Oh god. You, you managed to get medieval peasants on your side. Good job. They're like... Thousands of them couldn't even take on one soldier, so I don't know if you're sure what good this will do, but hey. Excellent work, Sebastian. Continue to sow the seeds of insurrection, and the rebellion will grow before our very eyes. Please don't tell me these guys are gonna be villains, because they make sense. That's like the only thing I pre- Please, please, please. Have you managed to garner the support for the nobles yet? Almost, my friend. I'm on my way to see them again now. The Queen's latest action, or lack thereof, has left a bad taste in their mouth. I have no doubt they'll all be swayed to our side by the end of the day. Have I told you you're brilliant, brilliant son of Seneca? Oh, maybe once or twice. Thank you for all your support, Sebastian. Your skill at riling the people has surpassed my expectations. All that's left for you to do is wait. Once we have the nobles on our side, we can finally something, man, skip that, and teach Arindan a lesson they won't soon forget. I eagerly await the day we begin. Arindan, I ran. <laughs> when, when will I ever learn to, to pronounce this? Arindan will soon learn the folly of attacking Fortuita. Well, they were green, not red. Mm. Mm. Oh, now we need to train. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Arindan is attacking, and Mother is too passive to do anything to stop them. They aren't going to stop, and we need to be ready when they make it here. We got a military to do the fighting for you. There's no need to worry about fending off the R&Ds yourself. What about Fortuitan people, then? Who knows that what kind of ideas that rat Seneca has been pumping into their heads? I've seen him and his lackeys talking to them, you know? There's no telling what he might be up to. I really don't think your mother would approve of this plan. Has that ever stopped me before? Well, no. Then it's settled. Off we go, to train. Do you know of any place we could go to? I suppose we could try a nearby village. I'm sure there's some willing to spar with you, but I still don't see the need for this. You've got plenty of people to protect you here, including Owen, Sawyer, and myself. Anna, I know you don't want to see me hurt, but I refuse to let other people do my fighting for me. Plus, Owen and Sawyer aren't even around all the time. Well, very well. Let's head out and find you a sparring partner. Alright. Hmm, how about that one over there? That should do just as well as any other, though there appears to be some sort of ruckus going on in the within the village walls. Are they? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Red units! Oh dear, I believe they're under attack. An attack? Is it Arinda? No, Belle, it appears to be bandits. Haha, <laughs> gotta have bandits. We can't stay idly by by one of our villages being raided. Come on, Ona, we have to go help. We should alert for the military first, Belle. Belle? Oh, she's already gone. <laughs> Look, it's Maggie with beard. Awesome. This one's easy picking, boys. This will be... Our fifth raid this month. Arindan can't pillage our country if we pillage it first. Maybe it'll teach that old hag they call our queen not to ignore her citizens. Wow, holy shit. I, if, if, <laughs> shit, our queen sucks. Like, it's fucking obvious she's a terrible ruler. I, 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 please don't try to make me, like, please don't try to paint her in a sympathetic light because all of this makes a lot of sense. If you have a bad ruler, this shit's gonna happen. So, like, I don't know, like, I really like the writing so far. It makes a lot of sense. It just really comes down to how they choose to angle it from here on out. Um, because I certainly hope that 
the queen will die, and then we're gonna have some sort of cleanup thing to do. I like it. If you're passive as a leader, shit's gonna go down. And this is just really political uh, scheming done well, because it shows that being a leader isn't always about making, like, it... You have to make really tough decisions sometimes as a leader. And sometimes not acting at all is the worst thing you can do, and it clearly shows here. So, so, so far I'm really fucking enjoying this writing. It's amazing. Very well, would you look at this? The princess herself is on her way here. Looks like royal blood will be spilling sooner than we thought. Oh, shit. Alright, we got two new units. Um, this is, again, a small map. Oh, oh so amazing. Alright, so here's Belle. She has EP, really? Fortuitous heir, fiercely determined to restore peace back to her homeland. She's a Pegasus Knight Lord, that's cool. And she has a rapier. She can use rapiers. That's cool. Alright. Good speed, good luck apparently. Seems like your traditional Pegasus Knights. I like it. Then we have Ona, a troubadour. Uh, that's cool, a healer is always nice to have. Except that she can also use light magic, so that's great. Troubadours, I always like that. I always like having a healer being able to fight. So that's cool. Oh no, I made enough for Tutris and Bell's retainer. Sensible and calm. Okay, so we got re retainers in the, up in this place. That's cool. All right. So uh, let's see what this uh, what these guys can do. So if we attack with Ona first, then it should be pretty easy to use Bell to finish off the guy. <laughs> I like it. Could have perhaps lifted her hands up a little bit more. So I'm not sure if there's probably no way to save this village if it gets attacked. Again, I noticed that the enemies are properly scaled. Like, you're supposed to do this, and it's really nice. Oh, nice one. Crit. I don't know, like, how do you pronounce this? EP? It sounds like an e is like, what you get on the internet if you, if you post shit. Like, you have an e <laughs> Alright. I didn't even check out the boss, though. Ow! Ouch. Okay, we gotta heal. Maybe attacking on the first turn was a mistake. Maybe Bell dies now. Uh, no, I think we're good. If that royal brat and her friends think they can save the village and get away with it, they're in for a rude awakening. The minute they reach that village, bring out the rest of the group. Alright, so warning me. That's, uh, that's nice. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, attack and then heal a bell up. Sword-wielding Pegasus Lord. I am a fan of this. I am a big fan of this. Alright, let's, uh, heal up. And a troubadour that fights. I am an even bigger fan of this. This hack has done everything right up until this point. I really hope I won't start hating it. Alright. We gotta save this village now. There's brigands coming in. It appears that I underestimated how many bandits were here. Indeed, their forces are many. Perhaps too many. A retreater is our best hope for survival. Not a chance. I refuse to leave these villagers for dead. We have to keep fighting. I know we'll find a way to turn the tide. Hey, would you look at that? An axe knight coming in. Phew, another solid practice session. Another few months with those training dummies, and I might be good enough to start sparring with a partner. It appears that someone new has arrived, and he looks equipped for combat. An ally might be, en be enough to tip the scales of battle in our favor. Go over and talk to him, princess. Hmm, I like it. We gotta save the village first, though. Charles! Oh, nice! He's an axe-wielding cavalier. Oh my god, that is amazing. I absolutely love it. Oh, this hack is doing everything right. Oh, it's doing everything right. I'm so happy. Oh, we get Axe Knights! Oh, that's so good! A, buddy, a budding young cavalier unsure of his skills. This is amazing. I am in love with this this concept right here. But yeah, first let's go visit the village. Are you the one are you one of the people out there fighting the bandits? Here, take this sword. My father was injured in the last bandit attack, so it won't be of any use to him now. This raid looks even bigger than the last, so I bet you'll need it. Ah, good. An iron sword. I will not have this streak ruined by these pests. Boys, they've secured the village. Get in there and stop them. We will not let them leave here alive. Bring out everyone we've got. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's, um... Move back here. Let's go talk to this uh, new guy as well. Alright, so now we have uh, an iron sword to play with. That's good. Something tells me Bell's gonna get a lot of experience in this map, which is good. You have a sword wielding Pegasus uh, Lord. You want to put a, a lot of axe users in the map. This this map design is so point down too. The, the maps look absolutely beautiful. Oh crap! Oh, that's not good. Um, all right, let's talk to Charles. Hey, you on the horse? Are you a friendly? Are are you Princess Belle? What are you doing out here in my village? 
I was searching for a place to train with my retainer when we happened across a bandit attack here. Bandits? What are they doing out here in my village? What else do bandits do? Well, what are we just standing around for? Come, princess, we got to run! What? You'd really leave your friends and neighbors to die at the hands of these bandits? We have to stay and fend them off. Oh no, I can't fight them. I'm not ready. I'd just be throwing myself away at them to die. No, we need to go alert someone better prepared than I. There's no time. If you don't even try to fight, you're just stealing their fate. What is your name, friend? I'm Charles. Charles, listen. These people are under attack. They're your family. Your friends and your fellow fortuitants. We're the only ones with any chance of saving them. Making it our duty to do so. It's not... Is this not the moment you've been training for? Why work to be strong if you won't use that strength to protect the weak? My retainer and I plan on fighting until the end, but we'll need your help to make that end a good one. Can I count on you? You're, you're right. My training would be for nothing if I never put it to the test. I have to do what I can to help. Thank you, princess. I really think I needed it. <laughs> I think I really needed that. I'm yours to command. Wow, really good writing. It is, this writing is so good. This writing is really good. It's a little bit long for a recruitment conversation. Okay, so I'm guessing I would bring in like yeah, I was like I would bring in Lance Knights right now if I was uh, if I was the creator of this hack, and that is exactly what the hack did. Um, you know, I'll move into the forest actually, and I think I'll I'll stick around here because I need to block those Lance Knights. I think this is actually fine. Ooh, nice one, nice one. Lumen, what's wrong with lightning? I don't know. I, I don't mind. I don't mind renaming basic tones. But yeah, that's that's perfect. Oh, nice one! That's a crit! <laughs> cool. That looked a little sinister, though. Looks like some sort of dark magic crit, if you ask me. Also, we should probably switch over to our iron, iron sword. Although we do have this small chance to crit, which is nice. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 all right, go Axe Knights. I've seen this animation before too. It was used in um, in um, what is it called, Sun God's Wrath. Although instead of calling him a Cavalier, I would kind of like calling him an Axe Knight would be nice. Is the princess on a Pegasus? Bring out the Wyvern, kill her, and capture the beast. We'll be living like kings if we can sell one of those. The Wyvern, Bell, be careful! Oh snap! All right, that's bad. A Sword Reaver. Ooh, we don't want one. We don't want Van. It's fine though, I, I, I... As long as he can't one-shot the Troubadour, we should be fine. Alright. Level up for Bell. Hit points and skill. Ah! You're gonna be one of those guys. I get it, I get it. Alright. Straight... Ah, uh, yeah, she is using the Iron Sword, actually. So, since that guy has a Sword Reaver Axe, it means... Yeah, well, no, let's not make him attack Bell, that's for sure. How much damage did he do? Fem 15, that's fine. He'll probably go for Ona, and he probably won't hit Ona. Alright, level up. Magic, speed, and resistance. Hey, off to a good start right here. Off to a good start. Hello, Wyvern. Haha! -ha! Sweet. Now, if we can only kill this guy, we should be able to. But yeah, I love the way this map is bringing in reinforcements with dialogue and shit. It's perfect. It's exactly how you want to bring in reinforcements. Having just random reinforcements appear out of nowhere is not the way to go. This is how you want to do it. Alright, we'll bring down the Wyvern. And the map is also utilizing all areas. Like, I wonder why there was a fort here, now I know. Alright, can we... Yeah, we can take out this guy easily. Axe-wielding Wyverns is also a really cool thing for me. Um, I like that. Alright, so we gotta be careful with Ona right now. We gotta try and kill off... Ooh, ooh, nice one! The Rapier, of course, is effective against Cavaliers. Sweet! Again, this map is so fun to play! Oh my god, I feel like I'm praising it too much. But it's doing everything right! Aha! Take that, ugly brigand. I hope the boss starts moving. That would have been a nice touch, because moving all the way to the boss sounds tedious. Alright, um... Yeah, we've started to clean up these bandits right now. I haven't checked if, if there's any conversations. Uh, doesn't seem to be, no? I like this Axe Knight, I'm gonna use him. 
Charles. That's a that's a cool Axe Knight name. It fits. It really fits. All right. So we got a Cavalier right here. I think we're gonna let Bell get attacked again. Again, love the fighter animations. They're so cool. Actually, I have to check if Bell gets slowed down from an Iron Sword. I don't think she does. She has five con, I think. So we have to check. Oh, nice one. Weapon level increased. Lovely. Oh, that was quick. Iron Sword weighs five. Now it's perfect. Con of five is what you want. I haven't checked if the if the statistics on axes and swords have changed. Hit points, strength, and speed. Ah, starting off great. Loving it, loving it. Let's see, Iron Sword seems to have the same stats. We seem to be running with Fire Emblem uh, 7 stats on Axis, which is good. And uh, yeah, let's, um, let's heal. Now, I don't think Ona, uh, the, the Troubadura Sprite has pigtails, but I don't think Ona has pigtails, does she? I haven't actually checked. No, she has one, yeah, she has a ponytail. I guess that works. Da -da, da -da. I'm gonna pull in the Cavalier. Alright, so it looks like the boss will not move, sadly. That's fine, we can come to him. Maybe he will move eventually. Alright, that seems like an, an attempt to give my Axe Knight some experience. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit shaky, but it works. It works. What kind of weapon does this Cavalier have? Iron Lance. Alright, go Axe Knights. Bum 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 Maybe we can go and uh yeah, okay, so this guy has a ranged weapon. This guy, he's a brigand. He's kinda scary. Again, I'm loving the enemy placements. It's really good. Oh I go take him down, Charles. He leveled speed, so maybe he maybe he doubles now. Nope. Not just yet. I think, let's see if the boss moves or not. Will be interesting to see. We'll place you here. And maybe we can... No, we can't. So let's use Bell. Use the Rapier for what it's worth. Nice! Alright, so once we're done pulling in the last Cavalier, we can go take on the boss. It's a sweet. Alright, bring it on. Again, fucking Axe Knights, man. I love them. I absolutely love them. I hope this I hope this hack has Sword Knights as well, and two Knights. Oh, I would be so happy. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh you know, maybe we've been going about this all wrong. Instead of terrorizing these villages, we should have been going after you and your little gang from the start. I'm sure the death of the princess and her friends would finally bring the queen to her senses. Well, better late than never. Bam, ba, bam, bam. Man, the queen sucks. All right. Um, well, let's just start taking this guy down. He's not that scary. He's just a little bulky. Bell should be able to uh, deal with this guy. Won't really need the rapier. Question is, can we use the troubadour? We shall have to see. This guy is very bulky. <laughs> Strength, all right. Well, at least she leveled strength. E nah, I don't think so. I think we're gonna heal. She's... I'm sure how the AI in this game and this hack works, but it's probably gonna go for... If it's gonna go for Ona, that's fine. All right, level three. Magic. Okay, I'm not getting the best of level ups right now. Okay, he is going for Ona. Interesting. Dun, dun. Bam, ba bam, ba bam, bam. All right, we should be able to bring him down now. Oh, nice! Look at Charles. Ah, Charles, the fucking axe knife master. You fools! You're letting Erindon win. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with you. Our queen sucks. Oh, this guy. This, I didn't notice. This guy, the guy's name is Gawain. Wow, what? <sighs> Having some crappy level ups right now. All right, the bandit leader is dead. That should be enough to send the rest of those fiends running for the hills. You're an awe-inspiring sight on the battlefield, princess. I've never seen someone dive into the fray so swiftly and come out raring for more. 
It was easy with a talent like you fighting by my side. Your skill with an axe is superb. You're nothing to worry about. I don't know how to thank you for saving my village. Everyone I know would have died. And I would have had been too scared to do anything about it if you hadn't showed up. I knew the royal family was still trustworthy. How many people are out there think poorly of my family? Most everyone I know, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, that queen is awful. <laughs> but it mostly pertains to your mother. They all think she doesn't really care anymore. I never thought so, though. I always thought she was just scared of messing up. Kind of like me. But you certainly proved that you're looking out for the people today. I am eternally in your debt. Seems like the country's dissatisfaction is even more widespread than we thought. I think you should speak to your mother ag ag again about the situation, Belle. I agree. She doesn't seem to understand the severity of the situation. I'll try to get true to her once more. But first things first. Charles, you saved me. Plenty of times today, so you can totally forget that eternal debt nonsense and we'll call it even. That is, as long as you promise to be my sparing partner. That's the whole reason I came out here, after all. And I doubt I'll find one better than you. I'd be honored! I certainly didn't think this was how my day would go when I woke up this morning. It's like I always say, it only takes a moment for the world to change. I never heard you say that. Well, you heard me say it right now, didn't you? Anyways, I don't don't know about you, but I'm starving. Would you care to join us for a meal back at the castle, Charles? Anna is a wizard in the kitchen. Guilty as charged. Sure, I had no idea that fighting could work up such an appetite. Back home we go, then. I think we've had enough excitement for one day. Wow, what a chapter. What a chapter! Holy shit, that was perfect! This might just be one of the best chapters I've ever played in a ROM hack. Everything about this map was spot on. The writing was perfect. The map design was marvelous. The enemy reinforcements were utilized so well. Everything about this chapter was absolutely amazing. This is how you make a chapter! Guys, this is how you make a chapter! I have, I have nothing bad to say about it whatsoever. I am so pleased. And the only worry I have right now is that the rest of the hack won't be able to keep up at this level. Because the first map was awesome. It was good. But this one's just leagues ahead in terms of its quality. This was so well done. From where the enemy placements, uh, or where the enemy was placed, to the reinforcements, to everything. Like, everything just flowed so smoothly, you know? Vyvern came in, you had to tackle that, it had a sword reaver, be careful with your lord, bandits, axe wielding, like, utilizing the weapon triangle perfectly. Absolutely amazing how you can create such a fun and engaging chapter with only three playable units on such a small scale. Absolutely fucking fantastic. This, this hack is quickly becoming my favorite Fire Emblem hack that I've ever played, and it's even, like, gaining on Midnight Sun as a whole. That is not a... That is not praise that I give lightly, let me just say that immediately. That is uh, that is a pretty big fucking compliment, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this patch. Uh, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you did. Helps out the channel a lot. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.